everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to be talking about what happens when you start losing subs <gasps> so terrifying so here we go this comes up a lot and um a lot of times when it does the way it's brought up is people saying like i don't know what i'm doing wrong i lost like five subs one day or i lost six subs one day or ten subs one day or whatever and it goes up and down and back and forth. Now, if you are a creator with a booktube channel, you need to know something right off the bat, okay? <laughs> booktube viewers are snobby as F, okay? It's just how it is. Like, if you don't give a booktuber what or a booktube viewer what they want when they want it, they're going to unsub. Like, they feel like their subs are like... Oh, I'm going to really stick it to this guy. Mm. Unsub, you piece of garbage. And in a lot of other avenues of YouTube, I haven't seen that kind of vitriol with subs. And I think, honestly, this is going to sound really dumb, but I think a lot of it has to do with the age range of people who watch BookTube. The people who... I mean, obviously, there's two different routes of booktube there's the more ya side and then there's the more other we'll say and actually there's a horror tube element in there too but we're not going to be talking about them right now we're just talking about this so as far as that other thing the older the audience is the more i feel and just in talking to a lot of different people on voxer and stuff like that i feel like they're like, if they're going to subscribe to you, you know, like they're doing you a favor. It's not like you're giving them content that they could choose to watch or not. It's like, if I'm going to push this button, it's because um, I'm letting you know that I'm important. It, it, it's like a really weird disconnect that when you have a younger skewing audience, you don't get. Like, honestly, I don't care. People can argue that with me if they want um, analytics or analytics. But the thing that I want everyone to know is that we all go through big swings and dips, okay? As far as like our sub count goes. Like, if you remember, like three months ago, I did my 1700 sub um, Q and a, and now I have 1690. And by the time this video comes out, I'll either have 1684 or 1701. Like every day, my sub count fluctuates by anywhere from five to 10 subs. Now, when you look at your analytics and you see that you lost two subs, what I really recommend you do is go in and see how many subs you actually lost that day and how many subs you gained that day. Because I guarantee you, it's not that you just lost two subs. You might have lost five, but then gained three. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's an up and down thing. But the most important thing about doing YouTube content is that you have to enjoy what you're doing. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're not going to fucking do this. So trying to keep making content to make sure you don't lose a single sub is just not the way to do this. And then plus on top of that, YouTube goes through and wipes inactive accounts all the time. Um, I don't know exactly what the process of doing that is, but it's something that happens, you know? And when people like lose their Gmail accounts, okay? when they delete a Gmail account, they're deleting their Gmail, their YouTube, and what other Google-based thing there is. So it's not always going to be because they didn't like the content you did. But if you look at your actual videos, you can see how many video, like on each video's analytics, you can see how many subs you lost from a video or how many subs you gained from a video, you know? So it's just like, it's not as drastic of a thing. And here's the other thing that's really difficult to, for people to get to. A lot of times we're going to assume that when we try something different, we're going to like, look, 
like more closely. So for instance, when I said I am kind of pulling away from booktube and I'm going to be doing more poetry and more author tube kind of stuff, like that week I lost like 30 subs, which is fine because they weren't going to watch the content I was going to put up anyway. Maybe they would, but they weren't going to give it a chance. So fuck it. I don't give a shit. I would rather have people who were constantly engaged with my content and a lower sub count than a huge sub count and no one watching my videos. You know what I'm saying? So like you want to keep people engaged. But what I think go happens with a lot of people is that when they do something different, they start looking at the analytics more. Because there's probably weeks and weeks that have gone by where you haven't even looked at how many subs you have. And then you go, oh, I'm going to say something kind of crazy on my channel. Uh, so I say the thing, now I'm going to watch the analytics every day this week and see if like I'm losing or gaining subs. So if you're not doing it every day and seeing the fluctuation, when you just come in after something you made a video about might not have gone over well, you don't know if you lost people because of that or if that's just a normal fluctuation that you get. So basically what I'm trying to tell you guys is this, like, don't worry about your sub count. Worry about enjoying the content that you're making. If you make stuff that you really are passionate about and you care about, the audience will come. So if you're watching this and you're not subbed to this channel, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm trying to like, okay? So hit that sub button, hit that like button, leave a comment, share this video, you know? So anyway, um, keep buying my books. If you have any questions about anything like this, leave them down below. And type hard, everybody, and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.